We're on easy street And it feels so sweet Cause the world is but a treat When you're on easy street Welcome to the Easy Street Radio Show Hosted by Rob Scribner Grab a cup of coffee and let's get started Hey, thanks for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. This will help us grow. Also note, buying some of our merchandise or donating to our channel is very helpful also. Thank you for supporting our show. Hello everyone and welcome to Easy Street and I'm irked. Yes siree. Uh, guys, you got to cool it on the toilet paper because I just went to Safeway. And in my earlier shows, you heard me bragging, my Safeway has everything. Not today, you guys. What are you doing with all that toilet paper? Is the coronavirus like give you the trots or something? Is there something I don't know? Because how much damn toilet paper do you guys need? Um, just cause I have like two or three cases from Costco, it doesn't mean anything, but really, I mean, today was amazing. I, we went to get some powdered milk, which I always buy like a little powdered milk just to keep adding to our supply. Luckily I've been doing that for a long time. So I got tons of powdered milk. I just thought I'd grab a little more gone people. And then I went to go get some, uh, just keep adding on my Clorox uh, cleaning wipes gone toilet paper gone like do you guys not shop at all during the regular time that you guys need so much I was like are you kidding me but actually it was kind of amazing it was like obviously down here in Arizona the message must be getting out a little but uh uh, everybody I saw was buying extra stuff today. And as this is actually the first time I really saw it where people were even talking about it out loud, like, no, let's get two of those. No, let's get three of those. Um, just in case we get stuck at a house. I kept hearing that a lot. Um, let's see milk was kind of low. Um, bread was a little low. Um, produce was okay. Um, but this, when I went around the corner, because I thought, well, let's grab a few more paper towels because I've already got two or three cases. What's some more hurt? <laughs> so, I go around the corner and they had paper towels way down to the very end of this picture. It was paper towels, but no TP. I couldn't believe it. That's a lot of damn TP that's not there. Um, wow, you guys must have some serious issues. <laughs> I can say but yeah so I thought it would be a kind of a heads up um even my safe way and and we're not under you know the severeness of like Washington State or California uh and this is what our shelves look like now what are they going to look like later so uh yeah there's my report you guys are buying too much toilet paper so um I've decided I'm going to raise my prices. So uh, my, let's see if I can get my bounty here for you. Uh, I'm raising this up to $39.95 a roll. Yes. And then the toilet paper I showed you the other day from $19.95, $29.95. I'm getting hurt, guys. If you're going to be that way, I'm going to raise my prices. <laughs> so anyway, uh, just giving you a heads up, guys. Be aware. Um, uh, the, the the shelves are looking a little more bare and uh, I mean everything was starting to look a little pick through that was kind of interesting I've never seen that before down here so uh, the message would be guys you might want to if you haven't got a few f extra items to be able to hang out at a house for two I would say three to four weeks you better do it you don't have to get freeze dried stuff and all that. Buy a lot of top ramen. Buy a lot of. Uh, don't forget candy, <laughs> licorice, <laughs> the big barrel ones. You gotta have red vines. If you gotta be stuck at home, don't be stuck home without red vines because yeah, that's an issue. So uh, 
I just thought I'd report that to you and let's move on to another subject. You truly love and care about your dog. Provide them with quality poopy bags, strong, reliable, scented, and eco-friendly. Take care of your dog, take care of the environment, take care of the world. Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon. Well, we're back. Yes. Did you buy your poopy bags yet? Pause the video right now. Go to Amazon, type in Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, and have at it. Why? Because they're awesome. And two, you'll help a channel. You'll help the radio station. We'd appreciate that. But um, most of all, you'll help feed a chocolate lab and a new puppy. <laughs> Won't be long. I have puppy pictures for you guys. So um, I did want to take the time to uh, say thank you personally out there. Uh, I know a lot of folks have been kind of uh, hopping on the channel or coming from uh, other alternative news. Um, Marfugo News been super just the other day I was on there saying hi in the chat and he gave us a shout out and you know uh, for a guy that's busy and he's got a full schedule um, he's really good about um, uh, sharing the spotlight um, sharing the stage and, and, I, and believe me in my world I see that all the time on our radio stations we have people that contact me, harass me almost. It's like, I don't want to be on a radio station. I want to be interviewed. Uh, or they want to interview on um, Range Rob Has Your Back and stuff like that. And then they get it and then they disappear. They just kind of want to get that highlight. We help market them a little bit and they're gone. And then when we want them or we need some help from them, they're gone. And Marfugel has proven time and time again, I've watched him uh, for years, um, doesn't do that. And uh, that's rare. So for those of you that know him and watch his show, um, and if you have a channel or a radio station or a podcast you're trying to uh, move forward, uh, let him know about it and uh, go into his Discord and then become a creator. And uh, you'll get really good support. And that's, that's nice. Um, and that's what we do on this uh, platform too. We're not just popular when it comes to YouTube. We're not as, uh, as many followers, but we have a bigger, broad um, scope uh, with the radio stations and, and several uh, um, other platforms that really get the message out. So whenever we uh, put an emphasis on on a, a company or product, service, or channel, whatever, uh, uh, they get good exposure too. So uh, yeah, it's all about giving back. And it comes back. Uh, it really does. Um, there's a handful of people that will use you. Um, and that's kind of sad. But for those that uh, you help out and then in, in the future stick with you, uh, that's pretty special. So, uh, uh, but I, I got to admit, the Marfugo folks have really stood out um, because I've just, I've seen it before. And we go through it too. Um, the other day, I got to tell you, I mentioned in the last show, but I was watching AM TV the other day and, and he, I, I just couldn't believe it. it was like freaking out. We're at war. We're at war. It's like, what? And then, uh, he's like, and then he's like, what's the disease? And he's like, ah, oh, a little bit overboard. So, uh, I love alternative news. I do like the topics they bring up, but a little bit on the over the top. So uh, I hope they bring that down a little bit. I won't stop watching him, but for goodness sakes, chill, chill out. Um, uh, stuff happens. And uh, uh, when you get my age, you've gone through stuff. And so you look at it, you evaluate it. The last show we talked about it. Don't panic, just plan and, and communicate. Um, the big part is talk about it play out the scenarios. What could happen? I mean, if you've been around a while, it's like, you kind of like, well, I've, remember, this is kind of like what happened in 2008, or this is what it was like in 2000, oh, 1980. <laughs> 1980, by the way, we were doing mortgages at my first house. My mortgage was 14%. That's how bad it was back then. Um, I still bought a house and then a few years later I refinanced and got better rates. But each recession has had all kinds of crazy stuff. And of course we have grandmothers and grandpas that can tell us stories about 
um, the depression and other recessions they've been through in war in the war and uh, take the time to talk to them and listen to them and find out um, history replays itself a lot so uh, there's things that they'll say oh well, yeah these are the things we had to do during those hard times we like my grandma she's like uh, she used to come over from the East Coast when I was a kid and every day she'd cook something in potatoes and then finally my dad told me well back in the day when uh, times were tough potatoes were the easiest thing to get and they're versatile and so um, you'll find older folks a lot of them just love potatoes and they do every day I have a potato and it's just because that's what they ate a lot back then when th times were tough and it's it's kind of interesting and uh, there's a lot to learn from our older folks ask them uh, you've been through this before grandpa or grandma what did you guys have to do what do you remember it really stands out and you might get some great stories and uh, some great ideas to prepare us for uh, some rough times and we got rough times coming and uh, it's part of the cycle um, no, we now if you're young and maybe you're only 30 years old you probably never witnessed any of this before and you just like why should it change why can't this always be a bull market why can't this always be flourishing it just doesn't it's it's history replaying itself again and again and it's a little different each time uh, different bubbles different reasons um, but yeah here we got this one this one's a doozy it's gonna hurt uh, we haven't even seen um, what's really going to get hard is, uh, you know, we saw a sample of what I talked about earlier of, of stock um, stores being out of stock and stuff is uh, uh, we just we've offloaded so much of our stuff to different countries. When a country goes down, we go down along with the other countries that do the same thing. Uh, you know, we all thought being globalist was a great idea because, you know, who wants to go to war against somebody who makes half your products? Um, but now look at us. Now we're a country that makes a lot of our products or are hurting and can't get products out. And then it's a chain reaction. And so the thing is, it's not just affecting us. It's affecting every country. Uh, so it's not just the disease problem going on here, but we've got the supply and demand problem. And then there's this little spiff, <laughs> little spiff going on between Russia and, uh, and Saudi Arabia over oil, which in turn hurts us because our shale industry can't produce oil that cheap. And uh, so a lot of people are going to be hurting, not only the owners of that, but also the employees. Uh, so um, you kind of wonder, you know, we're like, why can't we just quit buying oil? Don't even worry about oil outside of our country and just buy our oil. And yeah, our prices of gas might be, you know, an average of $3, three fifty a gallon if we did it that way. Um, but, you know, we, we don't have to play this game uh, with the other countries. I don't know. And it supports our own industries. Um, I'm hoping over time that um, we learn how to make some stuff again and be manufacturers again. And uh, we're capable. And uh, when the war came, what's really, you know, the old saying when they said the Japanese attacked us, um, they said oh, it was a sleeping giant. Well, I think this sleeping giant really needs to wake up again and like, yes, we can manufacture. There's money to be made. Um, will we have to pay? We might have to pay more for things. But here's my question. If our country is more healthy by manufacturing our own stuff uh, instead of like, let's say, range around poopy bags, um, instead of paying eight ninety nine dollars a box, you'd be willing to pay nine ninety five dollars a box. Or um, uh, this Peral. I don't know if I get a bottle here. Uh, hand sanitizer in my... i got to get my... turn. On, I'm going to turn off my email. Sorry. It, stop it. Anyway, um, <laughs> um, would you be willing to spend a little more for things uh, as long as it was coming from our country and kept us healthy and pe kept people employed? I, I think I'd be willing to do that than to go through this. So uh, my uh, computer is going to constantly go bling, bling, bling. Um, I can't get it to stop. What can I say? Anyway, let's move on.
Would you like better radio with great talk shows and great music and less garbage? Good Talk Radio is your choice. We have great programming, great music, and a great attitude. We love our country. We love our listeners. Good Talk Radio. Well, guys, we are back. And I think I've solved the bling, 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 bling going on. Uh, apparently, I had notifications to make sounds in my browser, which I could not find the stupid settings in Facebook to say stop. But I think I've mastered it for now. So I apologize for all the bling, 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 blings. Um, but uh, sometimes it's just things are just out of control here. Just the stress, all the stress. So guys, uh, it's been fixed. So uh, <laughs> let's move on. It's time for puppy report. Yes. So uh, I think we're about four or five days out till Belle, this little adorable puppy comes into our life. And uh, oh, by the way, did I tell you I found Planet X is right behind me there. It's Planet X. Uh, anyway, so uh, what have we done to prepare for this puppy? Well, so far it's cost more than prepping. <laughs> so, you know, there was a cost for getting the puppy. Now we've bought uh, all kinds. We luckily we still have kennels from the kids, our kids, our animals from the past, but they had to have new mats. So we've had new mats coming in, a new leash coming in, a new collar. Oh, we can have training treats. What else do we have to get? Um, let's see, puppy food. Um, oh, and special puppy dishes. Um, then it's been never stopping puppy training videos, which are endless on YouTube. And so, uh, yeah, I think we're getting closer. So yeah, we're about five days till puppy time. You see, so, uh, uh, yes, we will show you the new puppy live instead of this stupid picture we have to keep looking at. That's adorable. But uh, yeah, and so far the name Bell is kind of sticking with her. But once again, if you guys want to make suggestions of what of a name for her, um, in the meantime, it's Bell. So uh, I'm virtually going broke, and uh, I've I uh, can't afford to go anywhere because uh, we bought this puppy. <laughs> Have you ever done this before? You ever bought a puppy or, or a cat and you realized uh, this is a little more expensive than I expected? Actually, I kind of knew, but it's okay. But <laughs> I have a really excited wife. She cannot wait till the new baby sh shows up. And uh, I'm just glad, glad I found Planet X. Well, with things going on with the CV virus problem and and, and, and quarantines and stuff like that. I thought it'd be time to maybe we should make suggestions of how to spend time with the family. And so I'm going to go through a couple of things that might be a good idea. One is if you don't have an Xbox, it's time to get one. <laughs> That's all I can say, get one. And then I've heard on the news, board games. And I, I sometimes wonder if it's B O R D instead of B O A. A R D uh, board games with the family. What fun. Yes. Uh, so yeah, yeah. A lot of things to look forward to, uh, uh, guys. I, I think it's time to do some cooking. Don't you think? I think it's time to take on that meatloaf. You've never mastered. It's, it's time. Or maybe that lasagna you, you've never made. It's, it's that time. Um, yard work. That would be, something the whole family could play uh, weeding weeding some more uh, pick up the poop in the yard and by the way don't forget to get range raw poopy bags for that um yeah then a thorough scrub down of the house what fun i i I'm, i know uh, people would line up for this uh, scrubbing everything and I'm talking get the toothbrush out let's scrub those corners 
let's do those window sills. How about those curtains we've never had, we've had up for 20 years. Maybe it's time to clean them. And those uh, blinds, blinds are fun. Oh yes. So it's endless, the fun possibilities of being home all day with your kids and wife and, and husband. Um, so what could go wrong? Um, I maybe get a couple more televisions. Uh, so yeah, staying home might not actually save you money, <laughs> but yeah, more televisions because uh, while the little ones are wa watching, um, you know, the cartoons, you could be out there uh, um, watching soap operas. So there's a lot of great things the family could do together during quarantine. Um, what other fun things we do? Vacuuming, uh, thorough, uh, and I'm talking the thorough stuff. Um, cleaning, lights, um, yeah, all those little things you haven't gotten done. This is your opportunity. Uh, do you have any hobbies? Well, uh, can you share your hobby? Maybe you're a painter. Well, let's get all the kids to help out. Let's paint something together. Maybe you should paint the house, paint the walls, paint, paint the rooms, change all the uh, linens out, uh, new bedspreads. Um, and, you, and you don't have to go to the stores. You don't need to leave the house. You can use Amazon. Um, yeah, it's endless. Um, YouTube, you could listen to YouTube 24-7. Yep, just uh, grab yourself a beer, turn on YouTube, and let her rip. Just let her play. Um, the good part, you can play with your pets more. Train that dog to finally sit. Uh, <laughs> tell that dog to quit barking. Yeah, so uh, I hope I'm just giving you some great ideas of what you could do. Um, clean the garage. Now's the time. Get that garage cleaned up. Um, you know, the gardening in the front yard, trim those plants, you know, all that fun stuff. Uh, you live up in the Northwest. Let's get those gutters cleaned. <laughs> yes. So look at the bright side. We, all those things you, those round to it, no more. Excuses gone. You're quarantined. So, uh, <sighs> I can't wait till I'm quarantined. <laughs> Start your relationship out right with your puppy. Get the best dog waste bags that are bigger, deeper, wider, smell like lemon, and have handles. They're high quality and leak proof. Available on Amazon with free shipping. Alrighty guys, we're getting towards the end of the day and I started to uh, kind of contemplate uh, what the heck I'm going to do when I have to stay home all the time. And I think I've come up with a solution. Um, and take up drinking. Um, by the way, uh, if you got a cold, um, this stuff is great. <laughs> Um, the second. So, um, I'm not worried about quarantine at all. Um, and I, I, I got, I figured out it, how to relieve the pain. But in a serious note, guys, our lives are about to change something fierce and we have to do this together. So, um, uh, one of the things I, I always worry about, and it's always a problem is making sure we don't blame everybody. We don't blame the government. We don't blame the doctors. We don't blame the uh, organizations. Yuck. I mean, we could all do better. They could do better. But, uh, you know, really, do you think those guys sit there and say, okay, how can I do a bad job today? Um, there's a lot of bureaucracy. There's a lot of organizations. There's a lot of cause and effect. And if you uh, cancel a school, that affects the kids, that affects the parents, affects, if you cancel a, a, a outing, like for example, on Good Talk Radio, we just had a show canceled, uh, XFL t today. Uh, this week is their last show with us because they canceled that. So it's affecting everybody. And uh, a lot of this is going to be nationalism at its best. 
And uh, that means that we as a people, we as Americans, we as this nation have to suffer together. Suck it up. Um, you know, you watch the news and you watch people like, I don't know what we're going to do. I came down here to watch a game. And they're kind of, it's like, really what we ought to do is if this is what's best for everyone, let's suck it up. Uh, this is not going to be easy. It's not going to be fun. There's a lot of things Sherry and I have already stopped doing. Um, I don't miss not going to Costco because I just saw the news and they had lineups around the door. <laughs> so uh, some things are worth giving up. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, uh, eating out. Um, uh, our businesses are going to be affected and our jobs are going to be affected. Uh, there's going to be a lot of hard times for everyone. However, we can't expect the government to save us. Hopefully they can help us in some areas, but it's going to take us, a community, all of us to work together to help each other. Um, shows that you watch, make sure that you help uh, them donate to their shows or buy their products, just like we ask you to do with ours. Um, uh, do what you can to help everybody keep doing what they're doing. Um, yeah, we just, we got a tough road. I've seen some of this before. It's a slow process, We, um, but I'm mean, actually, it goes fairly fast into the misery and it's a slow process to get out of it. Um, the big part is Americans aren't used to kumbaya and get together and say, let's stand together. I think the last time we ever saw that was 9-11. So uh, really folks, um, nationalism, support of all of our leaders, both sides of the parties, um, and hopefully that they're doing their best to compromise and find what they think is best and what they others ones think is best and find a good complementary way to work together to help all of us. In the meantime, as a community, as a online community, as a group, we all need to help each other too. Support one another. Do what we can to help other channels do good. They're going to try their best to keep you entertained. We're all got, we're all affected some way. Don't let these shows think that our lives are all fun and games. Uh, we all have serious things. I've already told you, me and Sherry have big worries about her mother uh, in a nursing home. She's 82. Not a good age to be if, if they happen to get the coronavirus into their uh, assisted living. So we all have something. Um, we actually may actually have some financial hardships because um, we have some employment issues over here. So be it, so be it. We'll get through it. We've seen worse. The point once again, stop pointing, stop blaming, make a plan, work together and let's all support one another. Cause guess what? We're in this together. When people in 2008 were losing their homes and foreclosures, turns out, you know, a large quantity of people were going through it too. And it, it was something to kind of keep quiet and you didn't want to talk about while you're losing your house and, and all these other things. And so, uh, come to find out your neighbor was losing theirs too. And you didn't even know it. Um, support one another, communicate, be understanding, try to stand in other people's shoes, including our leadership. Don't get angry, come up with solutions and pass them on. So guys, uh, I know it was a little serious at the end here. <laughs> Sorry, gotta, gotta do that once in a while, but hey, we found planet X right there. Planet X. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, let's blame planet X. So, uh, I, uh, hope if, for those of you that pray, uh, pray for our nation and our president. Pray for Israel, of course. Pray for all the other countries and all the people involved in this. No matter what country you're from, everybody has the same love and feelings and sadness. So uh, uh, support one another. Be understanding. Work together. Thanks for listening to Good, <laughs> Good Talk Radio and Easy Street. We appreciate that. And uh, 
I think I better have just one more little bit of cough syrup before we go. I'll feel much better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So guys, have a great day. Be safe and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.